Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He is worthy. How many of y'all know that cares and fears and uncertainty and sorrow can deprive you of your joy? Mm, hallelujah. You got to feel that in your spirit right there. Because those fear, they can deprive you of joy. Your cares can deprive you of joy. Uncertainties can deprive you of your joy. And even sorrow can deprive you of joy. These things can cause you to sink into a low place. But tell someone, but God. but God. Hallelujah. He got a good word that'll make your heart glad. Hallelujah. I say he got a good word that will make your heart glad. Proverbs 12 and 25 say that, that the, a good word makes the heart, make it glad. Your heart glad. I don't know about you, but tell someone, cheer up. Cheer up. Be glad. Be glad. Rejoice. Hallelujah. A good word will make you rejoice. A good word will cheer you up. A good word, hallelujah, will make you be glad. That's why when David was trying to elevate the minds of the people, he was, he was taking them, trying to take them to a higher place. He sung a song. He said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but look at your feet. Your feet are in the house of the Lord. You should be glad. Hallelujah. You should be in a shout right there. Hallelujah. Some people try to get up just morning and couldn't get up. Some people try to walk and can't walk, but you made it in. Hallelujah. You're in the house of the Lord. So I was glad when they said unto me. Hallelujah. In other words, you got to get your mind to a place where you glad. Whatever God is telling you, you glad about it. There is shouts in your spirit. Hmm. Now, I know God is not limited to a building. Amen? Amen. But it's something about coming into the house of God that makes you glad. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah, you, you, should have a, you should have a song on your lips. Huh? You should have a praise on your lips. Huh? When you enter into his gates with thanksgiving, you should be excited about it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. David said he was glad. It cheered David up. It should cheer you up when you know you're about to come into the house of the Lord. Nobody should have to pump or prime you when it comes to God. Hallelujah. Y'all may be seated, praise God. Hallelujah. I ain't going to be before you long, but I got a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody ever heard of 5G? 5G. 5G. Y'all ain't never heard of 5G before? Y'all, yeah, hey, hallelujah. Somebody heard of 5G. 5G. It's tele telecommunication. 5G is the fifth uh it's the fifth generation technology standard for broadband cellular network. You know, we came out of 4G network, now we're going into a 5G network. In other words, the main advantage of a 5G network is that you get a greater bandwidth. And you're able to uh to download high uh at a higher speed. So you got a higher download speed. You, you know, when you, uh, when you got a lower uh, download speed, you buffer a lot. Amen? Hallelujah. You ever try to watch a movie and then all of a sudden it paused when it was streaming? That means the bandwidth wasn't strong enough to, uh, to push it all the way through. But a 5G is one of the most advanced um, cellular networks. Anybody remember AOL? Yeah, yeah, y'all might remember. Y'all remember dial up? Huh? Y'all remember you got mail? <laughs> y'all, y'all remember snail mail? Hallelujah! See, see, that was dial up, and then they went over to high speed internet. In other way, they got an upgrade. I come here to tell you today, God about to give you an upgrade. Ooh, hallelujah. Who want to upgrade today? Hallelujah. You God about to upgrade you today. He about to give you some 5Gs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want it. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Well, today we're going to be talking about 5G in the Bible. That 5G is for a, a network, but we're going to be talking about 5G in the Bible. That will get you to your grader. Look at somebody and say, I need my grader. I need my grader. I need an upgrade. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Numbers, the 13th chapter. 
at verse 1. Because today we're going to talk about 5G, God and the grapes. Mm. Tell someone, God and the grapes. Hallelujah, God and the grapes. In Numbers, the 13th chapter, verse 1, let us stand for the first scripture, and then you may be seated afterwards. And it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Hallelujah, you may be seated. And the Lord God, hallelujah, and the Lord God, tell someone God, spoke to Moses. And verse 2 tell us what he says. He says, Send down men that may search the land of Canaan, which I give. Tell someone give. give. Hallelujah. See, that? that's two G's right there. God and giving. Hallelujah. They go together. God has always given us something. Jesus. He said, which I give unto the children of Israel, of every tribe of their father shall you send a man, every one, a ruler among them. Hallelujah. God said, look here, I need some believers today. I need somebody who want to stand up for their household today. I need some leadership today. I don't need somebody who want to waver about what God is saying. I need someone going to stand up on the word and believe the word. If God spoke it, if God said it, it's going to come to pass. No matter what someone else might say in contradiction to what God is saying, God's word will pass. God's word will come to fruition. Amen. Mm. So he needs some rulers. Hallelujah. A ruler means you got authority. A ruler mean that, hey, hallelujah, I, I, I'm the one that give the commands. Hallelujah. I'm the one that tells things. I'm the one that takes the responsibility and the accountability. I believe God for what he says. Hallelujah. And then verse 3 say, And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Paran, and all those men were what? They were heads of the children of Israel. God said, look here, I ain't sending out anybody. I'm sending out believers. I'm sending out those that are strong in faith, not those that are wavering, not those that are double-minded, not those that don't know who they are in God. Mm. Hallelujah. He said, all these men were heads of the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Those people knew how to take charge. Those people knew how to walk in faith. Those people know how to believe, even though when doubt is all around them. They know how to believe, even though their environment spoke something different. They still trusted God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Too many times we allow our environment, our atmosphere to talk louder than our God. But he said those men were the heads of the children of Israel. Hallelujah. So God is giving us, hallelujah, what we need. He's depositing it into your spirit. Watch this. Because we're going to be talking about God and the grapes, right? Watch this. Let's go to Numbers 13, chapter verse 17. He said Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan. Hallelujah. Now, we know Canaan is the promised land, right? This is the land that God has spoken about. He told uh, Abraham, he told Isaac, and he told Jacob about this land he promised that he was going to give to them and their children. And, and then watch this. Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and say unto them, get, tell someone get. Yeah. See, that's another G. We talking about five G's, right? We got God, we got giving, and now we got get. Hallelujah. Watch this. He said, get you up this way. Hallelujah. In other words, when God is telling you to get somewhere, you need to get there. Amen. Hallelujah. God said, get you up this way, southward, and go. Tell someone go. Hallelujah. There goes another G. He said, you go, go up into the mountain. Hallelujah. He's telling us a, a, a specific way, and he also telling us way to go. All right. Hallelujah. I know we don't like to climb mountains. Hallelujah. But sometimes you got to climb some mountains. And sometimes you got to tell that mountain, move and get out of the way. Right. See, everything you can go through, something you got to go around. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you can't move everything out of your way. Something you got to go through. He's saying, go into the mountain. Watch this. And verse 18 say, and see the land, what it is. And the people that dwell therein, whether they be strong or weak. Now, this is Moses talking, right? But God told him just to go on up there. 
Hallelujah. Here God gave Moses the latitude. Praise God. He gave Moses the latitude of working it all out. Because God told him to go into the land. Then Moses starts saying, hold up, wait a minute. Uh, now when I'm telling you to go, let me break this down a little bit more. Hallelujah, let me help you out. You need to go and search it out. You need to go and see that God witness is true. He says, see the land what it is. And the people that dwell therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many. Hallelujah. And when I read that, I say, hold up, wait a minute. It didn't matter to God whether there was many or there was a lot. A, a few. Uh, it, it didn't matter to God whether they were strong or whether they was weak. Because God had already done promised them that he was giving them the land. See, y'all start measuring. Hallelujah. But God don't need a measure. Jesus. One thing you got to do is walk in faith. I don't know how God going to do it, but I know he will. Amen. Mm, hallelujah. See, we trying to figure it out. All right, I, I can take this land if they're weak. I can take this land if they're few. But God said it didn't matter whether they were strong and many. Hallelujah. If he promised it to you, you want to have it. Amen. Watch this. In verse 19, say, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. God ain't sending you to nothing bad. God's sending you to something good. He said, whether it be good or bad, how is it going to be bad if God is sending them to that land? Hold up, Moses. What are you talking about right here? Hallelujah. God is saying it is good land. Hallelujah. God already done promised them that it was a good land. How I know. Uh, give me Deuteronomy 8 chapter, verse 7 and 8. Hallelujah. In Deuteronomy, the seven, uh, eighth chapter, verse 7, it says, For the Lord thy God bring thee into a good land. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. God already done say the land is good. Just because you're speaking bad over it doesn't mean it's going to be bad. Mm. Just because it don't look good to you doesn't mean it's not good to God. Ooh, hallelujah. Because there's some things you can't see. There's something you don't understand. But God knows it. Hallelujah. And God ain't sending you into something bad. God want to bless his people. Amen. He's for the Lord thy God bring thee in a good land, a land of brooks of water. Hallelujah. In other words, it was no desert. It wasn't barren. Hallelujah. It was fertile. It was fruitful. Watch this. He said, fountains and depth that springs up out of the valley and the hill. Hallelujah. You're not going to run out of water. Hallelujah. What you concerned about? God already took care of it. Ooh. God had the whole plan worked out. God knew what you needed before he sent you. Hallelujah. Before he gave you instruction to go into the land. But watch verse 8. He said, a land of wheat and barley, and vines, that's grapes, that's grapes, that's grapes, and fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of olive oil, and honey. Hallelujah. God blessing you with all you need. I said, wow, a good land. Look at somebody say, a good land. When a land is good, it's bursting with promises. Y'all can shout right there. Hallelujah. When God has promised you something, it's bursting with promises. Hallelujah. You ain't got to sit there and evaluate it. You ain't got to go out there and do no survey of it. If God say that, hallelujah, he already done conditioned it. Hallelujah, he already made it right for you. He already made it fertile for you. Good Lord. He said pomegranates, hundreds of seed. Hallelujah. Watch this here. Uh, a vine is grapes. And then you got figs and you got pomegranate. But the thing about a pomegranate, hallelujah, it got hundreds of seeds within it. Ooh, in other words, when you see a pomegranate, it represents abundance. He said, within me, when a pomegranate get ripe, it rips open. Oh, y'all don't want to talk right there. Hallelujah. When a pomegranate get ripe, it rips open and the seeds are, be, are able to be seen. Now it's ready to sow more seeds. When you're full of God's word, hallelujah, it gets you ripe to begin to plant us. 
Hallelujah. That's why you need to study to show thyself approved. A workman need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. When you follow God's word, when you open up your mouth, you ain't got to worry about something wrong. Come Hallelujah. It's going to be a blessing for somebody. Hallelujah. Whew. Hallelujah. So these vines and, and these fig trees and these pomegranates, they represent the fertility of God, the prosperity of God, the well-being of God, the security of God. Hallelujah. God abundance. Look at somebody and say God's abundance. God is not sending you to a lack of uh, a land of lack. He's sending you to a land of prosperity. Tell someone's prosperity. Hallelujah. So he said, now going back to verse 18, he said, see the land and what it is. That's number 13 and 18. See the land, what it is. And the people that dwell in, whether it be strong or weak, few or many. And verse 19, and what the land is that they, that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad. We already know it's good because God sent us there. Come on. When the spirit is leading you. Hallelujah. If the spirit is leading you, like he said, well, you know what, son? I want you to go down there to uh, this particular uh, company, and I want you to go out there and put in the application. Fine. He already know that your application is going to be good. Fine. He already know that you already got the job. Hallelujah. Only thing God wants you to do is walk in faith. If you walk in faith, hallelujah, God is going to supply. God is going to make sure and manifest. Uh, hallelujah, it's going to show up because God said it. Amen. He said, rather be good or bad. Why God going to send me to a job that's bad? God, you know I got to take care of my family. You know I got needs, God. God, this is what I want. See, some of y'all don't ask God what you need. Some of y'all just accept whatever. I'm just happy I got a job. I just don't want any job. Amen. Amen. If I can ask God what I want, hallelujah, and he'll give me if I pray that prayer in faith, hallelujah, then I'm asking for what I want. I just don't want to accept anything. I don't go to no dealership and look for no uh, car that been all beat up and raggedy. Come on. Hallelujah. I, I want the best you got. Come on. God will not withhold any good thing. Y'all don't want to talk up in there. I say he will not withhold any good thing from you. Hallelujah. All good things come from above and addeth no sorrow. Mm. Hallelujah. If you're getting some sorrow out of some stuff, maybe it ain't a good thing. All right. Bye. Or maybe you ain't in a good uh, mindset. Hallelujah. Come on, watch this. And he say, and what the land is that dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be in that they dwell in, whether in tents or stronghold. Hallelujah. See, he's still trying to determine God's goodness by his own qualifications. Hello. Y'all ain't got to qualify God. Hi. God is all right qualified. Y'all ain't got to fix up and make it look like God is there. God know when he's there. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. And it didn't matter whether they had strongholds. It didn't matter whether they had walled in cities. It didn't matter whether the people was great stature. It didn't matter about any of those things. Only thing that matters is that you believe God when he say go. Yeah. Yeah. And if you believe God, when you go, you're going to get. Why? Because God already done gave it to you. Ha, ah, come on. You, you know when um, Daniel was praying, Dan, uh, Daniel was praying, and then the angel came back around 21 days later, and he said, God heard you on day one. Hallelujah. The moment you set your heart to believe God on something, that's all God needs from you. It's your obedience. All thing God needs from you is your faithfulness. All thing I do is operate in faithfulness, and you will get what God has promised you. Amen. Quit trying to qualify everything. Mm, ha, hallelujah. I feel like preaching right about now. And watch it. He say, and be a good courage. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Go back to one. And, 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 and what the land is, rather be fat or lean. Hallelujah. So if the land was lean, they didn't want it. Hallelujah. God can take your lean and make it fat. God can take your lack and make it abundance. Hallelujah. It don't matter how you see things. It matter how God sees it. Why 
watch this. He said, whether it be fat or lean, whether it be wood therein or not, hallelujah, and be ye of good courage. Good courage. Uh, hallelujah. God looking for some people with some good courage. God looking for some people with some good faith. Yeah. God looking for some people with some good mindsets yeah. to believe God at his word. That's all that matters to me. If God said it, I'm going to take God at his word. Face value. Because God can write a check and it won't bounce. He said, be you of good courage and bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. Hallelujah. So here we got it. We got the good, we got the get, we got the go, we got God, and we got grapes. In case you missed the main point of the sermon, it, it, it reads like this. Go get God good grapes from the land he give you. Ooh. I, I need to say it again. Go get God good grapes from the land he gave you. Hallelujah. What do you mean, Pastor? Hallelujah. Yeah, give me verse 25. Hallelujah, because God spoke this in my spirit. Hallelujah. I was studying and I was praying and he put this in my spirit and then line up with a word he has spoken on the Holy Convocation. Watch this in verse 25. He said, they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. In other words, in 40 days from now, if you would obey and believe, you will receive the promises of the grapes. In other words, what's your grapes? Your peace. Uh, what's your grape? Your joy. What's your grape? Your family. What's your grape? Your ministry. What's your grape? Your business. What's your grape? Your dreams. What's your grape? Your job. What's your grape? Your promotion. Hallelujah. The grapes represent a promise. And God is promising to you, He's going to bring it to fruition. So go get God good grapes Hallelujah. from the land He give you. Hallelujah. Boy, 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 boy. I'm telling you, he said, in 40 days, so I marked my calendar. Y'all don't want to talk up in here. I, I went to the day, and I counted up 40 days. I, I said, yes, on the 27th of August. Hallelujah. That's on a Friday. Hallelujah. I have been searched out on my dreams. Search out on my businesses. Search out on my promises. Search out on my joy. Search out on my family. Search out everything I want from God. And in 40 days, Hallelujah. I'm bringing back a fruit of Hallelujah. testimony. Y'all don't want to talk up in here. I'm bringing back a testimony amen, amen. that God said it, it is going to happen. So somebody's going to be promoted on their job in 40 days if you just believe God. Somebody about to get a better job in 40 days if you just believe God. Hallelujah. If you do like Daniel, on the first day I heard you, son, I saw your faith. I know you believe. Your business that's been stagnant. God said in 40 days, hallelujah, you're going to be bursting open. Hallelujah. Just like that pomegranate. Hallelujah. With all them seeds ripe on the inside, it bursts open when it's ready. Hallelujah. Whew. I think somebody excited. Hallelujah. God in the grapes. Tell someone God in the grapes. God in the promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The promises, yea and amen. Hallelujah. God don't lie about his promises. Watch this. Verse 26. I'm almost finished. Got two more scriptures. Watch this. And he said, and they went and came to Moses. Watch this. And to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel. So they had this great cloud of witness. And they're about to bring back their testimony. Hallelujah. What God about to bless you in, he ain't going to do it in private. He going to do it in public. Yes. Maybe I need to read it again. He said they went and came, uh, and they, they went and came to Moses. Uh, hallelujah. The one God gave to giving them the word. They went to Aaron. Hallelujah. Another leadership that testified that God is good. And they went to the, all the congregation. The one who know you went out. The one who knew God gave you that word. The one who witnessed that word with you. Hallelujah. I couldn't go. I wasn't picked to go. But you was picked for me. See, God chose some of y'all, hallelujah, because somebody else ain't asked. 
faith. Uh, but if you would step up and be the leader, hallelujah, and catch God's promise, Jesus. you about to bless not only you, but everybody else who tap into you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Ooh, Hallelujah. Watch this. And he said to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran. Hallelujah. He, in other words, anybody who want to hear, anybody who want to believe, hallelujah, anybody who want to be connected to this promise. He said to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and to all the congregation and did what? And showed them the fruit of the land. Good Lord, hallelujah. He's showing them the fruit of the land. In these 40 days, God is going to show you the fruit of the land. Oh, you better receive that. You better catch that in your spirit. In other words, you coming out of your thorns and your thistles. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember in Genesis, the third chapter, verse 17, where God cursed the ground, right? He cursed the ground. And, and then it became thorns and thistles. Hallelujah. But then, hallelujah, watch God. Ain't God good? Hallelujah. God can turn around your thorns and thistles and make it abundance. Ooh, he said, you coming out of your thorns and your thistles. Uh, don't forget the Lord God uh, when he comes into your too much season. See, the word from the convocation was, we in a too much season. Somebody said, what do you mean by too much season? Hallelujah. Say, say, say they're using the illustration. Hallelujah. They brought back some grapes. Huh? They brought back the fruit of it. Uh, Dick and Sandra, if you don't mind, can, can, can I get that bag right there and, and that little bowl right there? Hallelujah. There's some grapes in there. Oh, gross. Watch this here. Hallelujah. They, they got some grapes in here. Oh, hold, hold that bowl. Now watch this. This is grapes. And it looked like a abundance of it, don't you want you say? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. This is like a lot of grapes, isn't it? Hallelujah. But look, we pour them into this bowl. Hallelujah. Oh, that, that, that's good right there. But watch this. Now, this is a cluster. And you would say that's a lot of grapes. But, 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 uh, Junior, you don't mind, give me, give me, give me that stick right here. And, and little Bobby, come with him. Hallelujah. I need both of y'all to come here. Praise God. Stand right here. You stand there, and you stand here. Now, now, would y'all say, d d put, put this on your shoulder, and put this on your shoulder. Y'all stand right there. Now, do you think this is enough grapes to carry on, a, on that pole? Huh? But y'all just got finished saying this is a lot of grapes. But for God. Hallelujah. This is one cluster. The cluster they had was so big. See, I can carry this by myself. I can walk around with this by myself. But what God about to bring you into is going to take more than just you. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't worry about the grapes that fall. Praise God. Hallelujah. But thank you. Hallelujah. He, so he got two men, the Bible say, and they took one cluster of grapes, and it took two men to carry it. And y'all getting y'all y'all getting all excited by a little check. Y'all getting all excited by a little raise. Y'all getting all excited by a little bit of extra money. But God about to bring into abundance. This is too much. Hallelujah. In other words, what they were saying to one another was, "This is too much for me to carry." Can you help me carry my dream? Can you help me carry my promotion? Can you help me carry my blessing? Can you help me carry this peace God and give me? Can you help me carry this joy God and give me? Jesus. So when I heard that word, it resonated in my spirit. He said, too much Caesar, too much Caesar. Hallelujah. These grapes are too much for one person. What God about to give you, you want to have to share it with somebody else. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. This ain't the season to be selfish. Hallelujah, because it's coming from a supernatural part. Hallelujah. In other words, God was showing them a glimpse of what they was about to go into. See, you missed this. Hallelujah. The grapes that was on that cluster that those two men were carrying was just one cluster. Jesus. They left back too much. Can you catch that? Hallelujah. They ain't even got the whole tree. They ain't even got the whole vine. They ain't even got the whole vineyard. They just had one cluster. 
Oh, you got to get this thing excited in your head for what God is about to do. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor in the heart of man what God is about to do. What he's about to bless in your life. Too much. Tell someone too much. This is a season of too much. But God told me to tell you to don't forget the Lord thy God when you come into your season of too much. Because you keep on reading down in Deuteronomy in 8th chapter. He said, now when you come in there and when you start being blessed with the fruit of the land, when you start being blessed with the cattle and the herd and all these things are a blessing, when your house is already built, hallelujah, when you were to eat and was full, he said, don't forget about him. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. How many times have we forgotten about the storehouse of God? How, how many of y'all? has been blessed because of this ministry. Hmm? Ha have it fed you at any time? Uh, have, have, have anybody lights been cut on in here at any time? Uh, no, don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Because then they're going to start judging you. Then it was like, well, I didn't know you went and got your light bill from there. Hallelujah. But God has been blessing not only those in ministry, but those outside of ministry. This place feed folks. Oh, y'all don't want to talk right here. These people not only feed them, but they also educate them. Y'all don't want to talk right there. And in the process of educating them, they also feed them again. But he said, I'm bringing it into the storehouse. God said, I ain't going to let your store be closed. But your storehouse is going to be so full. All right. Hallelujah. That when you bring to my storehouse. Hallelujah. Hey, you, you won't even be missing much. If you tell the truth about it, what you're giving God ain't much anyway. Oh, come on. I don't know about you, but there was a time when I couldn't get a job. When I start trusting and believing God, a job opened up. And then God say, you know what? Because you're doing these things, because you're blessing me the way you're blessing, I'm about to promote you on your job. I got, I, 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 I got skipped over, hallelujah, many times. But when I started trusting God, I got to the front of the line. We don't want to believe God for that part. Why? Because we're talking out of our lack and not out of our much. Ooh, hallelujah. God already done say go and get the good grapes of the land. Y'all don't want to talk right there. When God say, when God say that, I didn't say it, pastor didn't say it, but God say, God say go, I have given it to you. I have given you good land. Hallelujah. I have given you a good blessing. Ooh. God had already promised them the promise. He already done told them. Now watch this. He, while he was doing all this, when God was making the promises back in Deuteronomy, the grapes was growing. While they was walking around, hallelujah, God was getting it ready for them. Hallelujah. God prepared stuff, and you don't even know it yet. Hallelujah. You look at what your natural eye, but God got something in the spirit for you. That's bigger and better than what you anticipate, what you expect. Thank you, Lord. He said, I'm bringing you into a good land. Hallelujah. Flowing with milk and honey. Come on. Can you imagine if the grapes that be? Y'all know grapes ain't, grapes pretty small, right? He said not only you got grapes, but he gave them figs and pomegranates. Hallelujah. They ain't talk about how they carry the uh, pomegranates back. They ain't, care, uh, they ain't talking about how they carry the figs back, but they, they, they did focus on the grapes. They did focus on the cluster. But I don't think God was liking the rest of it either. All right. Because somebody might don't like grapes. <laughs> Hallelujah. May, maybe you a fig person. Maybe you a pomegranate person. And maybe you a grape person. Hallelujah. And God wasn't just going to give grapes in abundance, but he was going to give the figs in abundance. Hallelujah. He was going to give the pomegranates in abundance. He was going to give the oil and the honey in abundance. Hallelujah. God was about to give the wheat and the barley in abundance. He know what you need. Tell us on God and the grapes. So cheer up. cheer up. Hallelujah. He done promised it to you. Come on, just shout right there. He done promised it to you. 
Come on, you the head. He chose you because he saw faith in you. Hallelujah. The Bible says he put in every man a measure of faith. Will you use that measure today? Hallelujah. Believe God. Hallelujah. That you, he about to walk into your good land. Will you use that measure of faith to believe God for your healing? Will you believe God right now? Hallelujah. For your breakthrough. Will you believe God for your abundance? Will you believe God for your better? Will you believe God for your greater? So go get God good grapes for the land he's given you. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but y'all should be excited right there. Hallelujah that he's bringing you into prosperity. He bring you into fertility. Hallelujah. You know, fertility means that I can produce. When you're barren, you can't produce a child. Hallelujah. Would you consider yourself to be fertile? Hallelujah, yeah, 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 you fertile, you fertile, you fertile, you fertile. Hallelujah. We know, how we know she fertile? Because she got the fruit of it. I got many grandkids because she's fertile. There ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Hallelujah. That's some that been barren. That's some that want to produce but can't produce. But she's prospering. She is fertile. Someone trade, hallelujah, their life just for an opportunity to bear what you got, just to have one. My, 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 my. The world trying to make you feel bad for being fertile. Ooh, y'all don't want to shout right there. The world trying to make you feel bad for walking in abundance. Oh, hold up. You don't know what I sold to get to where I'm at. But you want to judge me here, but don't know what I sold. You can't get no crops coming up and you ain't planting no seeds. But here, God went outside of the rule for you. He allowed you to reap where you did not sow. Oh, hallelujah. To buy without money. That's what the word say. That you will be to buy without money. Because you're coming into a good land. You're coming into the promise of God. You're coming into the abundance of God. Prosperity. Come on. And this ain't just about your house and your car. Some of us need some prosperity. We need, we need some abundance in our, in our joy. Because it seems like depression been around us all along. Like sorrow been around us all along. Grief been around us all along. But you need some joy. You need some peace. As if that's not a blessing by itself. You know, I heard someone say once that Rockefeller say he would trade all his money he could. Hallelujah. Just to get some peace. Come on. So money can't buy you all those things. But God can give you. Hallelujah. God can bless you. And it's beyond your materialistic stuff. But don't judge those who got it. Because you don't know what they sold to get it. There was 10, the Bible say. It, uh, it was 12. It was 12. It was 12 spies. But there was 10 that would not step into that faith. But they want to judge the two that did. I, I, I believe Joshua and Caleb was carrying the grapes. Oh, y'all missed that. Hallelujah. I, I believe Joshua and Caleb was carrying the grapes. Hallelujah. Because they was coming back with a good report. Yes. See, those who are walking in faith is going to come back with a good report. They're going to carry. They're not coming with their hands, hallelujah, empty. They're coming back with their hands full. Yes. Say, this land is a blessed land. Whew. My, 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 my. If I get something quiet, oh, uh, I'm talking to my future uh, keyboard player. <laughs> Hallelujah. Raw, he ain't that long, baby boy. Hallelujah. ain't that long. As soon as we find us a, 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 a keyboard musician that can teach you uh, to play the keyboard, we're we going to set you up. There's a gift in you. There's no denying. There's a gift inside of you. God has put a special talent on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only thing that need to be cultivated. 
Hallelujah. We, we, we just don't want anybody to teach him. Hallelujah. We want someone to be spirit-filled. Praise God. That's going to teach him how to read the music, how to play the music. Hallelujah. And how to play with others. Oh, y'all don't want to talk right here. Hallelujah. Not, not just one part of the spectrum. Because sometimes you can play by ear. That's good. I, I'm not knocking that you can play by ear. But to be able to teach somebody else. When he's fit being taught, he will be able to teach somebody else. I don't know about y'all, but God has got a special call for that young man. Hallelujah. I, I can see him doing some great things. Anytime I, every time he come to the house, he always goes straight to that keyboard. Come on. Because that's his good land. Aye. And out of his good land, it's going to be a good harvest. Woo, ain't nobody going to be able to get credit for it but God. Because he's going to stir up your gift. Hallelujah. I'm praying right now that God will begin to stir up your gift in here. Stir up your gift. Stir up your faith. Stir it up, Lord. Stir it up. That you be bursting with promise. Now, how you know how to do this? How you know how to do this? Hallelujah. I surrender myself unto the Lord. And he blessed my hands. You know, we talk about David. David was skill in Psalms. He had skill in his hands. God bless his fingers. God bless his heart. God bless his mind. God even bless his, his voice. Hallelujah. If we would just believe God for the good while you're standing on your feet. If anybody in here will believe God for the good. Come on. Anybody going to believe him for the greats? Anybody believe that God is greater? Come on, hallelujah. We talking about a 5G. We talking about something better. Hallelujah. We ain't talking about 4G. Praise God. Next week, we're going to be talking about 4G. Y'all know 4G is not better than 5G, right? Hallelujah. So next week, we start talking about 4G. Hallelujah. Y'all can even write it down. It's going to be a step down from where God wants you. In, in other words, when we talk about 4G, we're going to talk about the giants and the grasshopper. But today we talk about God and the grapes. Ooh, I can shout right there. Hallelujah. God told me to break this mess down into two. Why? Because you need to see the promise. Because so many times we, we focus on the challenge. And we need to believe God for the promise. Ha. Ah, good Lord. See, see the mindset of, of Joshua and the mindset of Caleb, hallelujah, they focus on the 5G and not the 4G. They focus on God, hallelujah, and his promise that this is a good land we're going into. They didn't care what they encounter. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? They didn't care. Why they didn't care? Because they believed God at his word. Will you believe God at his word? Will you be like these grapes that just fall all over the place? Hallelujah. Have so much, hallelujah, that you, you could actually waste some. Come on. Y'all ever been going through? Have you ever been going through where uh, uh, you, you, when you dropped something and it fell in the ground? And because you didn't have a lot, you had to pick it up, brush it off, and, and, and say, God is good, God is great. Huh? Huh? Uh, and you had that, that five-second rule? Come on. Hallelujah. But if you had a lot of it, you done dropped some stuff and like, oh, that's all right. Come on. But when you're going in that lack, hallelujah, you're trying to pick everything up. But God is about to bring you into too much. Hallelujah. In other words, other people are going to be the glean off of what you dropping, what you wasting. Hallelujah. going to be a blessing to somebody else. My bills ain't going to have to scratch anymore. My money ain't going to have to scratch for my bills anymore. Hallelujah. I'm going to have more than enough. Hallelujah. Ain't God good? We thank you, Lord. For those who are still online, we thank God for you joining us. We believe God, and we believe that you will catch on to his promises.
that he will give you the grapes, that he will give you the good. Hallelujah. That he will bless you going and coming. Hallelujah. That if you will just have a good faith about it. Hallelujah. Have a good heart about it. Just trust and believe God in it. Hallelujah. No matter what the world is saying, no matter what people around you are saying, just trust and believe what God promises are yea and amen. If God promises it to you, it shall come to pass. I don't care what anybody say, different to it, contrary to it, you believe God for it. You know, many people can put their hand on stuff. Don't mean they'll stop it. Hallelujah. Yeah, you know what? Y'all you ever seen a train come down the road on the tracks? You can go out there and put your hand on it, but you won't stop it. Oh, y'all missed that. Hallelujah. Just because someone put their hand against what God has promised you don't mean they can stop it. So go get God good grapes. He is giving you the land. And no matter what anyone say, it's going to come to pass. Just walk in the faith of it. Amen? Hallelujah. If you believe God for that, just raise your hands right now. And let us pray this prayer. Hallelujah. If you have not received God as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and you want to receive him right now, you can. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart and save me. I believe that you died for my sins, and I accept your blood atonement right now. I knew that you died, and on the third day you got up, and today you got up into my heart. And Lord, I thank you right now for saving me. I renounce everything of dishonesty. I, I renounce everything of the devil right now, and I give you my heart. I surrender into my heart and my will, my body, my spirit, all belongs to you, Lord. And I thank you right now, Lord, for saving me. I thank you right now, oh God, hallowed that you have transformed me. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will give me strength to continue to walk in it. Lord, thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. You are now saved sanctify fill with his holy ghost holy spirit fill their hearts right now fill their hearts right now hallelujah that you may be a guide and a counselor hallelujah that you will be a comforter to them oh lord father i thank you right now that they will have strength when they are weak oh god that you will build them up oh god lord i thank you right now that you will begin to elevate their mind renew their faith right now renew their hearts right now oh lord i thank you have your way upon their life in jesus name we pray. Amen. And now we pray right now for your good ground. We pray right now for your good land. Lord, hallelujah, Lord, have your way right now, God. God, we pray right now every doubtful spirit, every spirit that comes to trouble us, every spirit that comes to vex us, every spirit that comes to make us wonder, oh God, and not believe, oh God, we bind in the mighty name of Jesus right now. And we step up in faith right now. Hallelujah, God, we're walking in faith and not by sight. We believe, oh God, your word to be true and the final authority, oh Lord, we thank you right now, oh God, and it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Tell someone I got my grapes. Tell someone I got my promise. Tell someone it's good because God gave it to me. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise right there. Come on, it's the first right grapes. Hallelujah, it's the first right grapes. Hallelujah. This word is first right, just for you. It came right in the right season at the right time in your life. They didn't just show up on any day. They show up when the grapes were first right. Oh, hallelujah. When they first right. You ain't missed the harvest, in other words. You ain't wait till somebody else done pick through all of a vineyard. Hallelujah. God has given you the first of it. Y'all went in the shoe store, and you was in a long line, and y'all was waiting for a certain type of shoes. And then when you got there, the color you wore was all gone. Come on. But if you was in the first of the line, you get the first fruit. You get the first pick. Oh, you got to get excited about that. God put you at the front of the line to get the first part. I, I, we got two believers up in here. I heard two hand claps. Hallelujah. Can we get a nun? Hallelujah. He is good. 
So we thank you. I don't know if we're still online or not. Praise God. We thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. We're working through some technical difficulties right now. So just bear with us right now. Things will get a little bit better as the year go along. It'll get even better. We praise God. But it's not like being here in the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us come into the house of the Lord. I rejoice. Like David did. Hallelujah. You got to put your mind and get it elevated to another level. Hallelujah. Hey, you don't worry about no COVID. Don't worry about no pandemic. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right now, we can't live our life in fear. Yeah. Only time we were living our life in fear when it comes to coming back to the church. Uh. But ain't, we, li we ain't living much fear when we go in the grocery store. We go in the cookouts. Now the movie theater's open now. Come on, hollows, Space Jam. Uh. Mm, uh, see, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I see, yeah, I got my Space Jam right here in my house. <laughs> Hallelujah. But uh, you know what? We, we find every excuse and every reason not to return to the house of the Lord. But for everything else, oh, I'm just going to mass up. And then you get around people and feel comfortable, the mask come down. It's amazing. All of a sudden, because you can trust people with your natural eyes, you think it's okay. But when they say it unto me, let us come into the house of God, I was glad. Another opportunity to come in fellowship with him. Amen. So we thank God for you. We love you. We hope you were encouraged by the word. We hope the word has blessed you and know that whatever God has spoken to you, whatever God has said unto you, it shall come to pass. Only thing you got to do is walk in it. Just believe it and know that God will not fail concerning his promise. He's not slack concerning his promise. Amen. We love you. And if you want an opportunity to sow, uh, they'll pull it up. Praise God. I don't even have to point at that anymore. Uh, you know, I'm getting used to this new technology. But it's up on the board where they can see it all. You can't see me, but you can hear my voice. Hallelujah. However God leads you to sow, we pray that you will sow. Sow by faith. Hallelujah. Don't sow by what you see. Come on. If you got a problem with giving, just close your eyes. Stick your hand in your pocketbook or wallet and grab everything. And say, Lord, I said it all. Hallelujah. If you got a problem, bring it here and I'll help you out. Well, you got Giveify, you, you got Cash App, you got Facebook Messenger. Uh, you can send it by snail mail, I mean um, regular mail. You, you know, <laughs> since we was talking about AOL. But uh, there's many ways to give if you want to give. Hallelujah. Don't let that once you don't click off, then you forget to do. Come on. The Bible says, uh, don't procrastinate. Forsake not of giving you of your first fruit. You, you shouldn't, don't delay. Don't delay of giving you your first fruit. So whatever he's laid on your heart to give, do it then. Move immediately. Because the devil will come and steal it from your heart. You ever postponed something before? And then realize you meant to do it, and then you didn't? If someone asked me to pray for them, you know what I do? I pray immediately. Hello. Come on. I will continue to pray with you, but I pray immediately for you. So I thank God for you. We love you, and we hope that you have a wonderful and awesome day. Just be encouraged in that word. Maybe you have to listen to it again to catch all the promises God has laid out before you. But I know you're right. You like that promise, Granny. You're right. You are right. And there's seeds, there's words inside of you. God want to use you to minister to others. But hallelujah, you just got to get outside of yourself and allow God to use you to minister. It's in you. I know it is. Just trust God and watch what he do. We love you. Until the next time, you be blessed.